Welcome back to our channel online dating today. Today we have a special topic that many of you have been requesting. The art of flirting and banter in online conversations. In this digital age, mastering the art of online communication has become essential, especially when it comes to expressing interest and building connections. So grab your notepads, because we're about to dive into the world of online flirting. Before we jump into the techniques and strategies, let's take a moment to understand the importance of flirting and banter in online conversations. Flirting adds excitement, playfulness, and a touch of charisma to your interactions. It's all about creating a positive and engaging atmosphere that keeps the conversation flowing and leaves a lasting impression. Number 1. Establishing Report Building rapport is essential in online flirting and banter. It's all about creating a connection and making the other person feel comfortable. To establish rapport, find common interests or experiences that you can both relate to. Show genuine interest in what they say by actively listening and asking open-ended questions. Try to match their communication style to create a sense of familiarity. Compliments are a great way to build rapport. Be specific and sincere, highlighting their unique qualities. Take your time to build a solid foundation and let the connection develop naturally. Remember, building rapport takes time, so be patient. Focus on creating a positive and comfortable atmosphere where both of you can express yourselves freely. By establishing rapport, you'll set the stage for a fun and engaging conversation. Number two, injecting humor into your online conversations. Humor is an important ingredient in online flirting and banter. It adds fun and playfulness to the conversation, making it more enjoyable for both parties. One way to inject humor is through witty remarks and playful teasing. You can exchange light-hearted jokes or sarcastic comments to keep the conversation light and entertaining. Just remember to stay respectful and avoid being offensive. Using puns and wordplay is another way to bring humor into your chats. Clever wordplay can make the other person smile and show off your creativity. Look for opportunities to incorporate puns or clever wordplay related to the topic you're discussing. Sharing funny stories or anecdotes is also a great way to make the conversation more humorous. Everyone loves a good laugh, so don't hesitate to share a funny experience or observation. It helps create a bond and shows your sense of humor. Adding emojis, gifs, or memes can instantly make your messages more humorous. They visually express emotions and enhance the comedic effect. Emojis, in particular, can add a playful touch to your texts. Just use them in moderation, so they don't overwhelm your message. Lastly, self-deprecating humor can be effective. It means making jokes about yourself in a playful way. It shows that you don't take yourself too seriously and can create a relatable connection. Remember to gauge the other person's reactions and adapt your humor accordingly. If they respond positively, continue using humor. But if they don't seem to appreciate it, be respectful and adjust your approach. By injecting humor into your online conversations, you create a fun and engaging atmosphere. It adds charm and shows off your personality, making the interaction more memorable. Number 3. Using emojis and GIFs effectively Another important aspect of online flirting is using emojis and GIFs effectively. These visual elements can add an extra layer of expression and playfulness to your messages, enhancing the overall tone of your conversation. Emojis are like little mood indicators. They help you convey emotions and add personality to your texts. For example, a smiley face can show friendliness, while a winking face can add a playful touch. A smiling face with heart eyes can express admiration or attraction. A laughing face can show that you find something funny. Use emojis to enhance your message and create a warmer connection. GIFs, on the other hand, are short animated images or clips. They can bring moments to life and add humor to your conversation. Find GIFs that match the tone or context of your interaction. They can create shared laughter and make your messages more memorable. Remember to use emojis and GIFs in moderation. Don't overload your messages with too many, as it can become overwhelming. Let them complement your words and make your flirting more engaging. Number 4. Power of Compliments Compliments are an essential tool in online flirting, as they have the ability to make the other person feel valued, appreciated, and attractive. When used sincerely and appropriately, 
compliments can create a positive and memorable impact on the conversation. The key to giving effective compliments is to be genuine and specific. Generic compliments like you're beautiful or you're amazing may sound nice, but they lack personalization and can come across as insincere. Instead, focus on highlighting specific qualities, traits, or actions that you genuinely admire about the other person. For example, instead of a generic compliment, try something like, I really appreciate your sense of humor. You always manage to make me laugh with your witty comments. By highlighting a specific attribute like their sense of humor, you show that you've been paying attention and that their unique qualities stand out to you. Another important aspect of giving compliments is to be authentic. People can often tell when compliments are forced or exaggerated. It's crucial to genuinely mean what you say and not overdo it. Let your compliments flow naturally within the conversation rather than piling them on excessively. A few well-placed and heartfelt compliments can make a much stronger impact than a barrage of insincere flattery. Furthermore, compliments don't always have to be about physical appearance. While it's okay to acknowledge someone's attractiveness, focusing solely on their looks can be shallow and may not leave a lasting impression. Instead, consider complimenting their intelligence, creativity, kindness, or any other qualities that you genuinely admire. This demonstrates that you appreciate them on a deeper level beyond surface-level appearances. Number 5. Teasing Playful teasing is a valuable skill in online flirting as it adds excitement, creates a sense of familiarity, and helps build rapport with the other person. Playful teasing involves gently poking fun at each other in a way that shows you're comfortable with each other. It can involve playful banter, witty comebacks, or good-natured teasing about harmless quirks or shared experiences. This type of interaction creates a sense of camaraderie and allows you to connect on a deeper level. However, it's crucial to be aware of the other person's reactions and boundaries. Not everyone may respond to teasing in the same way, so always pay attention to their cues and adjust accordingly. If you notice any signs of discomfort or if the teasing is not well received, it's important to back off and switch to a different approach. Remember, the key to successful teasing is maintaining a positive and playful tone. Avoid sensitive or personal topics that may cause genuine discomfort or hurt feelings. Keep the teasing light and make sure both parties are enjoying the interaction. Number six, listen actively. Active listening is a crucial skill in online flirting as it shows genuine interest in the other person and helps build a deeper connection. When you engage in active listening, you give your full attention to the other person. It means not just hearing their words, but also understanding their thoughts, feelings, and perspectives. By actively listening, you show that their words matter to you and that you value what they have to say. One way to demonstrate active listening is by asking thoughtful and open-ended questions. These questions encourage the other person to share more about themselves, their experiences, and their interests. By showing a genuine curiosity, you create an opportunity for meaningful conversations and allow both of you to connect on a deeper level. Additionally, it's important to provide verbal and non-verbal cues that you are actively engaged in the conversation. Use affirmative words like I see, tell me more, or that's interesting to show that you're actively listening and interested in what they're saying. Nonverbal cues such as nodding your head, maintaining eye contact, even in online settings, and providing responsive facial expressions can also convey your attentiveness. Avoid distractions and give the other person your undivided attention. Put away your phone, close unnecessary tabs on your computer, and focus solely on the conversation at hand. This shows respect and creates an environment where the other person feels heard and valued. Remember, active listening is not just about waiting for your turn to speak. It's about genuinely understanding and empathizing with the other person's thoughts and feelings. By actively listening, you foster a sense of connection and create a space for open and meaningful dialogue. And there you have it, our guide to the art of flirting and banter in online conversations. Remember, online interactions can be a delicate dance, so always be respectful and considerate of the other person's boundaries. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tips on communication and relationships. Also, let us know in the comments below if you have any other topics you'd like us to cover. Until next time, 
Happy flirting and take care. Flirt